everybody. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all of the good love and good feelings people are sending my way. And as for the liberal tears, I drink them for breakfast. So please keep getting upset and angry at the videos I post. I love it. I'm here today in a beautiful town in Minnesota, a town that I often pass through on my way to Winona parts in Wisconsin, also uh, Whitewater State Park because I love getting out there. I love this town and I'm just going to open up full disclosure. This is one of the best kept secrets in southeastern Minnesota is this beautiful little town. Everybody who visits it would like to live here. If you visited this town, you know what I'm talking about. It's a beautiful community in Winona County. I can understand why anybody, I can understand why anybody who works in Rochester would want to live in St. Charles. It's the town that time forgot. It's what Rochester was 150 years ago. Look, the population, everybody knows their neighbors. There's familiar faces as you walk down the street. I'm asking a question today. Let's say you worked and lived in Rochester. Let's say beyond that, you're more than a commuter. This is more than a bedroom community for you. Because let's just imagine, if you will, I'll do this Rod Serling style. Imagine, if you will, you were a very important person in Rochester, and you were a person who was engaged in changing Rochester. Let's just pretend that you were someone who was so important that every decision you made influenced what happens inside Rochester. And what's going to be the future of Rochester is something that you've decided on. But let's just pretend that instead of wanting to live in Rochester, uh, you go beyond Iota, beyond Dover, outside Olmstead County to buy a property in St. Charles, Minnesota, where you can live part of the time instead of living in Rochester, Minnesota. Now, I would have a little bit of a problem with that because if you were a person who had a problem with systemic racism, if you were a supporter of Black Lives Matter, if you had a problem with white males, if you said there was an issue with white supremacy inside Olmstead County and you even had, you know, you know, connections to all of the left-wing groups that are promoting uh, an agenda such as uh, Isaiah Minnesota, Rise Up Minnesota, Indivisibles, DFL in Olmstead County. Let's say you were one of these people living in Rochester, but you don't want to live in Rochester. I think that's weird. I think that's weird. You choose instead to live in a town that looks like Rochester looked 150 years ago plus. You don't walk the walk that you talk. Now, I would love to live out in this town, okay? But I don't have that luxury of commuting that far. I, I couldn't do it. It's a long ways, you know, and I, it just wouldn't work out time-wise and money-wise. But if you were a person who had connections so that you could have somebody sign you on board to their property and 2007 so that you have a residence in Rochester that you can run there for public office and then let's say you had somebody even willing to get married with you in 2011 or 2012 and put your name on you know not just the name on the deed but put a ring on it right and you're not a single lady anymore and you run for office well whatever I'm just wondering I just I just find it odd that person who chooses a certain reality and future for Rochester, Minnesota, and thinks that it's really important to alter the trajectory of Rochester, Minnesota, would not want to be there all the time. It's kind of like Dorothy Day um, not wanting to work in a soup kitchen. It's kind of like uh, Mother Teresa not wanting to live in India. It would be like, oh, I don't know, the leadership of Black Lives Matter taking 
millions of dollars than buying a mansion in an all-white neighborhood. Funny how that works. Now, I don't want to get personal about this, so I'm just going to leave it at that. But if you're raising taxes in Rochester, and then you support the raising of taxes in Olmstead County, while you don't live in Olmstead County, well, I mean, you have a residence because you're on another property deed, but you're paying taxes in Winona County, well, you know, why do you want to draw a salary in Rochester? Why would you want to uh, wish a reality on a group of people that you don't wish to live through yourself inside the city that you say has all kinds of problems with, you know, systemic racism and white people. I mean, you couldn't choose a town in this area whiter. Okay, maybe there's no volume on this call. I think I understand. Okay, so all I'm trying to say is that you should live in the community you love, wherever that is. You should want to protect and defend the people you serve, wherever that is, wherever you are. Whomever you are, if you choose to live in a town, you should be there 150%. You should be in the county. And I'm just, I wish that everybody who worked in Rochester would come back and live in Rochester. But I understand that a lot of people can't afford to live there. But some people, apparently don't want to live around the choices that they're making for us. So they choose not to live in Rochester and they'll choose a bedroom community for them. It's a bedroom community like St. Charles, beautiful, beautiful St. Charles. And like I say, I love this town. I love this community. I love the main street. I love everything about it. I love this high school. The fact that they got football games out here. They got a real county fair. That's a lot better than Rochester's. 150% better than Olmstead County. Safer too, without the CERT team. So I'm gonna end this for now, but please, um, I hope you appreciate what I'm saying because I'm simply saying, if you want to have such a strong voice in a community about the conditions of that community, you should live in that community all the time, every day. Not just like Monday through Friday, or just your work week. You should want to pay the same sales tax as the rest of us, the same uh, levies that get applied to our properties, the same sale, uh, the same uh, uh, property taxes that get raised by Olmstead County, instead of choosing to live outside Rochester, Minnesota, outside Olmstead County, in a town that time forgot, a beautiful community from Minnesota's past, while you're saying what needs to happen in Rochester to change Rochester's future. So everybody, uh, sorry if I'm shouting, it's windy out here. I don't mean to be yelling and screaming at you. Okay, everybody, have a great day. Be productive and, and do good work, okay? Thanks, everybody. Bye. And, and thanks, for, thanks for the appreciation. I really, I really loved meeting everybody the other night. We had a great time. Thank you.